Meghan and Prince Harry will not return to royal family life because it would mean scrapping much of the new image the couple has cultivated in the US, according to a royal expert. Since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from senior royal family duties in March 2020, they have forged ahead with their new life in America, scarcely making the trip back across to the UK. A year after the initial split, the Queen confirmed the Duke and Duchess would not return to the royal fray, stripping Meghan and Prince Harry of various patronages held by working royals. And despite reports of a potential thawing of relations between the Duke of Sussex and his British family, a royal expert has claimed Meghan and Harry will not reinsert themselves into the firm because it would undo the brand they have cultivated in the US, outside of royal constraints. Pauline McLaren, professor of marketing and consumer research at Royal Holloway, University of London, described how the Sussex's new image across the pond would have to be axed in order to slot back into UK royal life. And this is something neither the Duke and Duchess nor the firm are likely to want, she added. She told Express.co.uk that it's hard to envision a split timetable and I can't see that working. She added, it might be some more project-based cooperation that would be beneficial to both. Addressing reports the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could reintegrate themselves into the senior royal family once the Prince of Wales, 73, ascends the throne, Professor McLaren dismissed the possibility of Prince Charles bringing them back into his slimmed-down monarchy. She said, I don't think there's a remote chance they would come back into the royal fold. They would definitely have to significantly alter their branding in order to do this. The cother of royal fever continued on to claim that, even without this consideration, there was a lack of will to do so from both the Sussexes and the firm. She added, there is no indication that anyone would want this on either side. The rift with the royal family has not come without cost to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry has been stripped of a number of his military patronages and is no longer permitted to wear a military uniform to certain events, despite serving two tours in Afghanistan and spending a decade in the armed forces. Likewise, Meghan has lost her prestigious patronage of the National Theatre, which is now conferred on Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. But Meghan and Harry have retained their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles, one of the few legacies left over from their work as senior royals in the UK. But while some see the retention of this title as an indicator of a future return, a royal commentator told Express.co.uk this is counterproductive to the brand the Sussexes are cultivating in America. Professor Sally Otten said because they have lost the ability to use the HRH title, the epithet of Duke and Duchess becomes meaningless. She added, if you're not involved in the royal family, and you can't use the HRH, and the Queen has said to you, fine, if you don't want to be involved, you're not involved. What does it mean? It's a nickname you give yourself. Professor Ottens commented that, with Meghan and Harry continuing to call themselves the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, they have misunderstood the importance of the titles to an American audience. Without the royal family as a socially respected structure, she said, Americans don't care about these titles because they're not in our social structure. We don't have the sort of reverence of these titles. However, Prince Harry will not attend his grandfather Prince Philip's memorial and people are unhappy with his choice. Harry stepped down from his royal duties last year and moved to California with his wife Meghan Markle. Since he moved, he has returned to the United Kingdom twice and was dissatisfied with the protection he received. The decision to stay in California received criticism from critics and royal fans alike.